Now to the ethics charges against New York Congressman Charles Rangel. He says he gained nothing. But now that the details are out, Rangel's not the only Democrat with something to lose. CBS News correspondent Cheryl Atkinson is in Washington and has the latest. Cheryl, good morning. Good morning, Harry. Rangel's trial is expected to start in September, a spectacle that a lot of Rangel's colleagues were hoping to avoid. Once among the most powerful Democrats in Congress, count 13. Rangel now stands charged with 13 counts of ethics violations. They include failing to disclose income, checking accounts, stock and property, improperly using rent subsidized apartments for his campaign committees, and improper fundraising for a project in his name at City College in New York, the Rangel Center. The Wrangell Center was the subject of a CBS News investigation in 2007. Wrangell envisioned it as a presidential library-like facility that would include an office and well-appointed furnishings for him once he left Congress. Wrangell is charged with using public resources and congressional letterhead to ask for big donations for the center. He solicited companies that had business before the tax committee he led at the time, Goldman Sachs, Wachovia, and dozens more. Wrangell asked for $30 million from Verizon and New York Life, $10 million from insurance giant AIG. Wrangell denies any wrongdoing. Before the charges were read, he told reporters it may be his toughest time since he fought in the Korean War. As a result, I wrote a book that, uh, having survived that, that I hadn't had a bad day since. Today I have to reassess that statement. Twenty people have been expelled from Congress, only six since the Civil War era. There have been 40 reprimands and censures altogether, half of those from the time of the Civil War. The most recent reprimand, as a reminder, was Joe Wilson, who yelled, you lie, at President Obama. Harry? Cheryl Atkinson in Washington this morning. Thanks so much.